Good morning, friends. I have just woken up. I made myself some coffee. These are the uh, tumblers we sell on the store. Uh, this is the pink one. It's 30 ounces, uh, but I do have quite a bit of ice in there. It's nice because it keeps it nice and cold for a long time. Um, I'll link them down below. Normally when I mention something from the store, I try and link it. But I'm just relaxing on the couch, if you can believe it. Puppies are right here with me. They are very good girls. Um, it's kind of overcast out today, so this been a nice relaxing morning. I'm just watching some TV and waiting until Ray gets up, which won't be probably for another couple hours, but um, just having a relaxing morning until he's up and then we'll probably figure out what we want to do for lunch. And then he's going to stream and I have to run some errands later. So that's kind of a loose plan of the day, but I figured I would check in. I got to put the vlog live. So day one I edited last night and everything. So it's all ready. I just have to upload it. So super excited for that. Both pups are just staring out the window. I love looking out that window. Miss Charlie's laying down like a loaf. Miss Riley, is there anything out there? You guys see anything? Miss Charlie. She doesn't give a fuck. I love you girls. You guys are the best dogs ever. Okay, friends, so it's quite a bit later. Ray is up. We are gonna go pick up some Chipotle for lunch. I'm super excited, I just put in the order. Ray, we shaved his head last night. Baby, you wanna show the vlog? What's up? Show the vlog, we shaved your head. Oh yeah, dude, look. Look how cute he is. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so free. Dude, you look so good, I love it. Also, I have peach fuzz all over my head now, it's great. Oh. I've been doing this. Wait, let me feel it, come here. Ooh. That's fun for everyone. But yeah, we uh, did that last night, and now we're gonna go get some Chipotle and have some lunch before race streams. Can I help you, Miss Charlie? <laughs> Staring at my Chipotle. What's up? Oh, do you love your dad? What's up? I love whoever will give me Chipotle. I do not play favorites. <laughs> Riley doesn't even know what's going on. She just has her ball. Hi, Riley. You were looking right at mom, huh? She, this is what she does. I told you. She just stares at me all day. Miss Charlie, why do you always just stare at me? It's like she's trying to talk to me, but she can't. What do you okay. think her voice would sound like? I don't know. I think Gilbert Gottfried. Mm. I think it would sound like us, hopefully. <laughs> Hi, mom. Miss Charlie, I told you, all you have to do is tell me. If you speak, I'll get you whatever you want. <laughs> She's looking so intently at me. Oh, here she comes. Now I'm over it. Oh, see? Hi, baby. All right, mom and dad are going to watch some TV and eat their Chipotle. Oh, you look so good. Maybe this is the thumbnail. Miss Charlie, look at me. All right, so my exercise equipment came in. I just unpacked it all. I got these kettlebells because I cannot find weights anywhere. So I just finally decided, fuck it, I'll just get kettlebells. Because every time I try and buy dumbbells, they're like sold out. Except for like two pound and like 50 pound. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. I'll just get the kettlebells. And then I got this Reebok like bench. Um, that the red parts fold down to make it a lower step. This part props up so it's like a bench. It's very versatile. Um... I wanted the blue and white one that they have, but apparently they were sold out. So I just went with this one because they said the other one wouldn't be available for a few weeks. So I did get this. I'm super excited. I'm going to go set it up in, and by set it up, I mean move it to our bedroom where our treadmill is. All right. So this is my little workout area. This is our treadmill. And then we have an Xbox that goes to the monitor on there. And then I just put the bench and weights back there. If I wanted to use them, I would just pull them out over here. But just for space, I'm going to keep them over there while I'm not using them. So yeah, super happy, super excited. I um, had a hard time getting the bench over there because it got stuck on the curtain. And then I pulled down a bunch of wires. But we got it all together. So yeah, at least this is all sorted now. Awesome. I have this massive pile of stuff that has just accumulated. 
by our bathroom door, so I'm going to try and sort through it and also get the humidifier hooked up in here because Ray has been complaining about the air being really dry when he sleeps. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and then get the humidifier hooked up. Okay, guys, so I realize I've never really shown off all my masks. To be honest, this isn't even all of them. These are just ones that I have inside that I kind of need to wash or that I haven't really used. So I figured I'd go through them real quick. But the first two are, of course, the ones we sold, the one with the Frame Rate Merch logo and the Please Don't Try and Talk to Me. I have thought about doing another one of these because it's highly requested, but I haven't decided. So if you still like these, let me know and maybe I'll try and get some um, in next month's restock. And then I have a blue tie-dye. This one that says Stay Safe. This is our other one, our Stay Home. I also like that one. This one is just like a pattern. This one is checkerboard, Ray has one too. We have matching ones of those. This is like a peach and tan tie-dye, which I need to wash, that was in the sink. This is just like a floral one. You can tell they had some issues with the print. I got this off like an Instagram store and it really isn't the best if I'm being honest, but it feels nice. Uh, a pink tie-dye, pink and white. My little gnome one, this one is from Unique Vintage. This one is just a plain pink. This is one that I got, I think I like CVS. Came with this one in a black one. Um, I like it because it has a little piece for the nose in it and the adjustable ears. So I do like that one. And this one I um, is my little like pride one. I think it's super cute. This is the Crash Bandicoot one that they sent us right before the game came out. I really like this one. This one is just like a floral flower one, which I wore quite a bit, uh, but needs to be washed. This one is like a white floral one, which I also like, but if I wear any foundation, it does get all over the white masks and then those can be harder to clean and then they look dirty, but I do really like this one. This is just like a sweater one. I don't even know. I have the same one, but with black instead of the olive, but I do like this one. Little animal print. Thought that was cute. Match some outfits. I have a like pink, gray, and black camo. And then I have this pink camo. And then I also have a normal camo one and a plain black one that I wear quite a bit. So I'm going to double check these, see which ones need to be washed. See like this one, I clearly wore and had foundation on. Um, so I'm going to try and rewash some of these and have them ready in case I want to wear them. Okay, so here are all the masks I have to wash. I went and grabbed the ones that I've been wearing in my car, which are my pink rainbow and my camo one. And basically I spray them with disinfectant spray. I put them in this very hot water with disinfectant soap, like antibacterial soap and a little bit of makeup remover, since a lot of them do have like foundation or whatever on them. And then I will let them sit for a little while and then I will empty this. I will run them under hot water again and then I will throw them in the dryer and then they will be nice and clean and I can wear them again. Okay, quick update. We have the masks in the dryer. I am running the dishwasher. I have all of the Goodwill in my trunk. I'm gonna put on my shoes, grab my mask and head out to my errands. I don't think there's anything else I need to leave running while I'm gone. No, I just need to rinse out my coffee cup from this morning and then I will be good to go. So I'm gonna rinse that out and then head to the car. Before I dump this, this ice is from this morning. It's been in there for over six hours and the ice is still like whole. Uh, these work so well and I'm not just saying that because we sell them. They just do work really, really well. So I figured I would show you guys um, proof that it will actually keep your drinks cold. Okay, I am home. It is 5.13. The dryer is done. The dishwasher is going to be done by the time I'm working out. I'm going to take off my makeup, change, and get ready, worked out. get ready to work out. I went to Goodwill, got my car, went through the car wash, and picked up my friend's package. So got a lot done. There was a little mishap where a huge fucking spider crawled across my windshield while I was driving, and I thought it was in the car and I screamed and had to pull over. I'll try and put a picture of it here. Um, and that was terrifying. So I had to cool down for a few seconds because it literally made my heart race. Bugs don't normally bother me, but this dude was big and I thought he was like in the car with me. So I'm gonna get ready to work out. I'm gonna work out and I will check back in with you guys. 
Look at my good sheebies. Each on their chair. Oh, while well, they were. Now Riley wants to say hi. Hi, baby. Mom loves you. Love you, Charlie. All right, here is the workout outfit. I will put my sneakers on in a minute. It's just the same crop top I was wearing earlier. These black leggings I have on a sports bra that I got from Walmart. That's really great. I've washed my face. I have my hair up in a clip. Ready to get sweaty for a little bit. All right, workout is done. I am sweaty. I'm gonna get ready to shower. I do the, like the same 30 minute treadmill workout almost every time. Um, I just change the numbers depending on how I'm feeling. But I started a six incline and then the speed's anywhere from 2.8 to 3.5 depending on how I'm feeling. And every five minutes, I lower the incline down half. So then in, at 30 minutes, I'm normally at a three incline and if I wanna keep going, I will stay there for the rest of it. So highly recommend it. I feel like it's a good workout for me at least. So yeah, I'm gonna start the shower. I'm gonna shower and then see what time Ray wants dinner to kind of figure out when we, what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Um, I'm very not picky about when we eat or what we eat. So I normally just Ray, Ray decide cause he cares more. Um, and also obviously with his stream, it depends. So I'm gonna enjoy the shower, listen to some more of the Taylor Swift album while I shower and see you guys in a little bit. All right, Ray's probably gonna stream for at least another two hours, but I am starving. So I'm going to have some beef jerky, a few of our M&Ms and one of my mini brie cheeses just as a little snack since we're probably not gonna eat for another two, two and a half hours. Um, it is six o'clock. Oh, no, sorry, 6.30 at this point because I showered and everything. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to get some work done and I will check back in with you guys when I start cooking dinner. Okay, so Ray just came down and said that he should be done streaming in about an hour. Um, so I'm going to start prepping dinner. It should probably take me like 30-ish minutes to cook, but I just want to give myself some extra time. I ate, did decide that I'm going to try and caramelize some onions, which... Basically, all you do is just chop onions and put them on a pan on low heat for like 45 minutes to an hour. So I just have those like cooking in a pan because um, I really like caramelized onions. But I am making bruschetta pasta with chicken for dinner. Um, I know it's supposed to be like bruschetta, but I always say bruschetta. So just acknowledging that. But I will show you guys how I'm going to make it. Um, and if you try it, let me know. Okay, so I'm just cutting these tomatoes in half and then the halves into fourths. So eighths and putting them in this bowl. It's a little hard because I have a cut on this finger. So I don't really want any juices or anything in it because it's making it burn. But we're just gonna cut this. You should always have a very sharp knife. Make sure if you have a nice like knife that you invest in a knife sharpener it will change your life in the kitchen. I'm gonna have to start using this finger, otherwise I'm gonna cut myself. Um, with this recipe, you can add, you know, whatever you want to it, or as much or as little of things as you like. Like I said, I love a lot of garlic, so I did a lot of garlic, but if you're not that big into garlic, don't use it. Don't use as much. I also have cut up the red onion already. I just rough chopped it into small bites. It doesn't need to be perfect. I know how to cook a lot, but I never try and cook things like technically, you know? Like I don't really care how my cuts look, how my chops are or whatever. As long as it tastes good, that's what matters. Just finish these up and I have to check my boiling water there's all my chopped tomatoes okay so Ray is gonna be done kind of sooner so I'm starting dinner I'm just boiling a pot of water for the pasta and then I have this big pan and I'm gonna have it on medium heat and I'm gonna use a little bit of oil 
and some garlic just to start browning some garlic. Okay, so I have washed my plate. Uh, we have the tomato mixture here. What I'm going to do is add some chopped red onions to this. Again, as much as you want. Oh, my alarm's going off. Stop. I want the smaller pieces, so the bigger pieces that happen to make it through my chopping, I'm just gonna pull. They're not big enough for me to notice now, they're not gonna matter, but. Some, a little bit more. All right, this is looking good. Awesome. Now I'm gonna chop up some fresh basil. I'm gonna separate all these little pieces in here and chop up some fresh basil for this as well. Again, you can add as much basil as you want. All right, that should be pretty good. I'm going to put the pasta in the boiling water and I'll be back. All right, to finish this topping, we are gonna add two tablespoons of oil and some salt. And we are gonna mix this and let this sit on the side while the rest of our meal finishes. All I've done over on the stove is add the pasta to the water and set a timer. Right. We're just gonna let this vibe while we finish everything else. Okay, so the garlic, the small bits are really cooked. So what I'm gonna do is lower this down to low heat until I'm ready for it, which won't be until the pasta is done. So I'm just gonna let this sit on low until I'm ready to add some pasta water to it once it's done boiling. All right, so the other thing I'm gonna work on is I'm gonna make crescent rolls. Um, but I'm, before I roll them up, I'm going to put garlic spread on them to make them garlic crescent rolls. So I'm just going to lay them out, put a little bit of garlic on them and uh, roll them up. All right, so I added about a cup and a half of the pasta water to the oil and garlic, and I'm gonna let this cook some and reduce down a bit, and then we're gonna kind of mix it in with the pasta, and then mix in the bruschetta, and then we're basically done. Also, my caramelized onions are coming along really well. Okay, so update, um, I realized that this is for a whole box of pasta and I did not do a whole box of pasta. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and pour it into the pasta bowl. Once it's done, it has to simmer for about three more minutes and then I will mix that all in. And I have to add some cheese and then I will show you guys kind of the finished product. All right, guys, here we go. Let's put together the meal. So I put some of the oil, water, garlic, like sauce on here. If you like buttery noodles, you'll probably love this meal. So I'm going to give myself a serving. I'm gonna make like a little bowl. And we're just going to, you could also put Parmesan on this if you wanted to, that would be really good. We're just going to top it with the bruschetta mix. And then 
add two little garlic rolls. Um, my caramelized onions are also almost done, so I'm probably gonna add some of that to this, but that's the bruschetta pasta. If you guys do decide to try it, let me know. Um, I would love to see what you guys think. I'll show you the caramelized onions, and then I will probably get ready to have dinner with the right and watch some TV. Onions, this took just over an hour. I'm going to dump the extra oil out of them and then I'm going to top some on my pasta. Super excited for this meal. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cook it.